Hello Geek Nerd viewers, still here once again and welcome to another iteration of Windows Tips. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a new font and also discuss the sidebar and the gadgets. Now, Windows 7 comes preloaded with a bunch of fonts. But however, if we want to install a new font, what you downloaded from the internet or whatever, it is extremely simple. I used to think it was hard, but that's because I'm... I never had to do it before. Anyway, if you download a font, now I've got mine in a zip folder here, and it's called Second Breakfast. All you do is double click on the, the uh, true type font file, and basically click install. And it will just install for you. You can close this, and you can close that. Now, if we open up a, uh, if we open up Notepad here, and we can open this up and if we type in hello you can tell that I already tried this before but that is in the second breakfast font there easy pimps if you want to say anyway that's how to install a new font in Windows 7 of it or I think you could do that in any version maybe not XP anyway the next thing is about the sidebar and the gadgets now if you've ever used Windows uh, Vista, the sidebar in that is actual is an actual sidebar. But however, in Windows Seven, it's called a sidebar. But it, well, I don't think there is a sidebar in Windows Seven. It's called gadgets. Now, I've already I've only got three gadgets. Windows Seven does come with more, but I've removed them because they're kind of useless. Anyway, if we drag the weather on, as you can tell, I can drag this to wherever across the screen I want. In Windows. Vista, I believe it has to stick to the right hand side. I think you can move it across the screen, but it's a little bit buggy. Anyway, we can make it bigger, or we can make it smaller. We can view the settings of the weather app, current location, and Fahrenheit and Celsius, even though I'm not in London. And we could just drag this across the screen, or we can exit it out. CPU meter, these two by the way, the weather and the CPU meter come preloaded with Windows 7. And we can see our uh, CPU, how much is taken up, and the RAM. And then lastly, Chris Perillo Live. I, I don't know why I have this. Just because I do. Um, just so I can stalk him. Not that I do. Anyway, that says uh, Ustream thingy. Anyway, uh, that's really it. Really, really simple. You can get more gadgets online, download them. The only thing is that they're... Well, put it this way. I downloaded a few and they didn't work. There are not not a lot of people use the gadgets in Windows 7. They're, it's a kind of gimmick. The weather's kind of good. It, it's not. You, you could use them if you want, but anyway, I'm blabbling. Anyway, thank you very much for this for watching this video, and uh, till next time, I'll uh, catch you later.